Hey there folks, and welcome back to the I Am CDB Project. I, of course, am your host, CDB. You are not, and uh, today we're going to bring to you a, a new razor, or at least new to me. This is the Pascal, oh, I wrote it down because I always <laughs> forget. Um, Square Root Pascal Razor by Doran Pascal. This is on Etsy, which I'll put a link in the comments below um, if you're interested. 30 bucks made of uh, brass and zinc alloy. Very, very nimble. I've used this a few times already and it just feels really nimble um, in the hand. It's about 0.93 on the blade gap and it's kind of got like a bevel design. And according to uh, Mr. Pascal, um, he wasn't really happy with the bevel type designed razors because they were too inefficient. And then this one is 0.93. It is uh, fairly efficient, although not menacingly. So, and I have liked using it so far, so we'll use it again today. Also, we're gonna use Subcommander Bounty, which was sent to me by uh, John Wallace. You see the notes on there, spice, apple, and marshmallow. It smells really, really nice if you like apple. Oh, good, um, strong scent too, 7.5 to eight out of 10 on the Sense strength, so let's go ahead and wet the face. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Just been busy tackling other things and so on and so forth. Uh, we've got our, let's see, what is that? Bounty uh, in the bowl here. And we'll lather up and get going with the Pascal uh, razor, which again, I forget the name of it. It's called the Square Root Pascal. 30 bucks on Etsy. Um, I believe the gentleman who makes it is from Israel. I think it said shipping free. Don't hold me to that, but that's what I think I recall it uh, saying. Anyway, I've had good shaves with it. So take that for what it's worth. Man, this stuff smells good. I've got this particular lather this time a little foamier than I would like, but that's on me, not on the soap. Again, I don't care whatsoever about when people make comments or send me an email, oh, your leather look foamy. How did the shave go? Again, I, I think I've said that in recent videos. Do not obsess or get into crazy shave geekery over the way someone's lather looks. Uh, now, granted, if it's just horrible, you can tell, but if it's a passable lather, and you get a great shave, you know, cuts, creepers, weepers, and so forth, then you've done your job, as far as I'm concerned. So I don't obsess over how the lather looks. I did it one time, but I have learned better. How did the shave go? That's really what counts. So we'll get going with our Pascal, and that feels really nice. And I like this sort of thin handle. I, I'm not one for really... Um, Thick, thick handles. This feels really uh, nimble and it is uh, fairly efficient. I wouldn't call it overly aggressive to the point where, you know, people will have problems with it. I don't think, but you know, each individual feels uh, differently about how a razor feels in terms of aggression and regardless of the blade gap. Someone will get a large blade gap and claim that it doesn't feel overly aggressive and some people have a narrow blade gap and claim it's it feels really aggressive and I think sometimes it depends on how smooth uh, one of these razor shave is if it uh, shaves smoothly and we don't worry too much about the blade gap but I will tell you you can you can feel this one you know taking uh, whiskers off there is no doubt about that, but I don't feel that it's menacingly uh, aggressive at all, not even a little, but you could definitely feel it doing its work, which is good. I kind of like that. And again, we're just about lathering my eyeball there. Don't need to shave that. At least not so far, I'm not that old yet. Anyway, um, the razor has done a good job for me, and I really knew nothing about the gentleman or the razor when I got it, which is kind of the way I like it. I just used it and went, man, I kind of like this thing, you know? So that's, that's good. And that's kind of what I shoot for, not having a 
ton of information. And again, it's sold on Etsy. I'll put a link in the bottom. Um, I think in, I was talking to the inspector the other day and I believe uh, I was telling him about it and I believe he ordered one. Uh, I like the razor. I think he's also got, uh, you know, brush knots and things like that on his Etsy page as well. So, you know, give it a, give it a shot if you are interested in a, uh, you know, budget level uh, razor right there in the realm, probably cheaper than your Edwin Jagger and Merker. And in my view, just as good, if not better. Um, I do like it. I'll tell you. Kind of spoiler, I guess. I like the razor. It just works uh, really nicely. And again, you, you know, it's moderately aggressive, but it doesn't feel crazy to me. Uh, it's not, it doesn't feel like you're scraping your skin and really being hard on your skin, uh, which is good. But it is doing its job, which, you know, of course I like as well. So overall, I've enjoyed using uh, this razor so far. And it's one of those that I will definitely consider uh, buying because uh, it just uh, shaves well, feels really nimble, not the least bit cumbersome. Also, uh, by the way, tomorrow probably, I will have the uh, Sterling razor, which I think is stainless steel. Again, I haven't read anything about that razor, but I just got it this week from Rod and them to uh, test and send back and uh, so I'll be showing you that one as well, the Sterling offering, which I'm sure will be good also, but uh, I've used this one several times and I, I, I like it. It's a thumbs up. And, I'll, and uh, I really like the cost. I mean, I think a lot of you know, I'm really uh, happy when somebody brings a, you know, a decent razor to market. I mean, I think you could easily charge more for this to be quite honest. And when I saw the price, I was, because I got the razor and I used it before I ever looked at uh, his Etsy site. So when I, when I, when I, when I went and uh, looked and it was 30 bucks, I was like, man, that's a good, that's a good deal. So I say good job on the razor. Good job on the price. I like that. Like it. A lot. Okay. And I like this uh, Soap Commander Bounty. It smells really, it's got a really nice strength on the scent, which I like it, which I like. It really does remind you of, you know, maybe Christmas or something like that, or fall, or I don't know. It's certainly not dark, or, uh, so it doesn't remind you of fall insofar as, uh, being, uh, you know, musky and all that. It's, it's, you know, like I said, it says right on there, spiced apple and mushrooms and, or <laughs> mushrooms, marshmallows. I'm out of control already uh, today. Uh, hopefully we've got beyond all the Halloween offerings of soap that smell horrible. Um, I'm sure those limited releases have came and went and are probably now on the, uh, uh, you know, secondhand market now. <laughs> they, they buy all these, you know, Halloween special super limited edition and then you turn around and sell it two or three weeks later if you're not just a collector because they stink quite frankly they don't smell good at all they're terrible awful and I know having bought them so just take it from me they'll end up on the second hand market sooner or later unless the person's just an absolute collector that just collects things they don't use of which as you know I am not I'm not a collector at all really hold on to things that I don't intend to use at some point or have a purpose. I don't want stuff just sitting on the shelf. I used to have stuff like that, but I don't hold on to that stuff anymore. There's just no point in it. And the, and the, uh, the Halloween soaps and stuff like that, just pure marketing gibberish, just a money grab, to be honest with you. There's, you know, in all honestly, honesty, a lot of people will buy them but when you talk to people, there's few people that actually like the scent. They're like, eh, it smells like crap. So there it is. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Man, really nice, nice smooth shave today with the, with the Pascal razor and the Soap Commander.
bounty, like I said. Um, I, I don't recall how many times I've used this, but I've used it enough to where it's like, okay, I like it. I like the way it feels. I like the weight. I like the balance. The design is nice. Um, so overall, I'm definitely in the plus category on this, and I think for for thirty bucks, it's worth it's worth uh, taking a flyer on for a moderately aggressive razor that you know feels good, nimble, and if you shave your mustache, you can get under your nose there pretty easily. So for me. Uh, this is a thumbs up, and obviously, Soap Commander Bounty is a is a thumbs up as well. I want to thank uh, everybody for joining. Sorry, it's been a while. Just been busy doing stuff. Haven't really had time, really, nor the inclination to make any videos. But after getting this, I said, you know, this is worthy of uh, making a video on again the Pascal razor, or it's actually called Square Root. Pascal available on Etsy, 30 bucks right now. Good bargain in my view. Um, I like to see more razors like this. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB. You are not. God bless.